What's going on, everybody? This is JVB, and you're listening to another episode of the Post Game Report. So I want to talk about GameStop. I did make a video uh, about a week ago talking about how GameStop was fighting to survive and how when I was at um, a pre-order line for the PlayStation 5 at the GameStop near me, how people were talking about, um, well, I was I brought up the whole subject about how GameStop must be enjoying this because it's the only place where you can physically go and pre-order any of these consoles, whether it's a Series X or a PlayStation 5. And so I was showing off the stock, and at the time I believe it was maybe $8, $9, or something like that per share. So yesterday, GameStop announced that they have a partnership with Microsoft, a multi-year partnership where they're going to use uh, the infrastructure uh, from Microsoft. They're going to use Surface uh, tablets or laptops. So their entire system is going to be upgraded. It's going to be a lot better, a lot faster. And they will now push uh, not Game Pass necessarily, but uh, game all game access or something I don't know what it is. It's an upgradable program, similar to what Apple does if you purchase an iPhone from Apple. And I mean directly from an Apple store. You automatically qualify for an upgrade program. So a year later, if a new iPhone, or when in this case, when a new iPhone comes out, you can basically trade it in, trade in your existing iPhone and upgrade and the perks is that you are able to get uh, a pre-order in or an upgrade before everyone else, something like that. So Apple uh, it has been doing this for quite a, f- uh, a few years. Microsoft started doing it with its Xbox consoles. And so this is going to be offered at GameStop. I know that I believe Game, uh, Best Buy has this as well. And if you want to do it, you can even go to xbox.com and sign up for this program. So basically, you are financing an Xbox console. So this will be available at GameStop. And people are saying, oh, my God, you know, Microsoft bought out GameStop. They did not. They are partnering with them. And it's a multi-year deal. So there's no long-term commitments. If GameStop, which is still struggling manages to go under then Microsoft really doesn't lose out now as far as stocks as far as the stock for GameStop it did go up and I managed to buy some shares not a lot because I'm fully not going to commit on on GameStop stock just yet but if you're going to do it now's the time to do it because it's currently at about $13 per share or something like that. So I kind of got into it a little late. As I explained in my video talking about GameStop, it was as low as $3 or, you know, something around that range. If you, if you uh, just round everything off. So I could have made a really good freaking profit had I bought about a hundred shares at the time when the stock was at its lowest. And then I decided to sell it off. Let's say, for example, I would have sold it off today where it's about 12. It's ranged between 15 to $12. So I would have made a nice little profit. Uh, so that is the whole thing about the market. You just don't know. You don't know how things are going to fluctuate. And that is why everyone can't do it. So I have myself some, some shares of GameStop. They have a partnership with Microsoft. They have Big Reg, who used to be from Nintendo. So they they have they have an arrow pointing to the right direction. Let's see what happens. Now, here's my personal take on GameStop. I know a lot of us have an opinion on GameStop. We've all been robbed when trading in our games and our hardware at GameStop. But when you are the only one doing this type of service, 
you are in control. So you can offer the least amount of money for trade-ins. And then Amazon now is offering trade-ins for games. I don't know about consoles. I haven't tried it. Best Buy, you can take in your hardware and your, and your, your games and trade them in. I don't know about games anymore. I know you used to. So there's a, a, a bunch of places doing it. And then you have your little mom and pop places. If, if they are still around, hopefully they are. Some of them will offer trade-ins and pay you money. But I remember growing up with Funko Land, that, would, that was the place where in the Bronx I would go to Fordham Road and I would look at all the secondhand uh, consoles and handhelds and games. And, you know, because I couldn't afford it at the time, I would literally go there, hang out and just talk video games. Now, as I got older and I moved to Queens, I used to do the same thing at the GameStop across the street from me now. Um, of course, I lived further, so I would have to travel to the current location where I live now for the last 20 plus years. So at one time, and I've said this before, there was three GameStops literally across the street from me. But there was one particular GameStop where I would hang out and shoot the shit with the employees. And we would talk video games. Some of us had, uh, we, some of us were actually friends on Xbox Live and would actually play games together, multiplayer matches. And so, you know, the, 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 you know, the community aspect of it, of, of going to a physical GameStop was, was really fun. And so even though they would rob you and the big joke is that you know you could take like a thousand games and get three dollars for it you know that's legit you know we've all been robbed and hopefully they change their their policies they give you a little more for you know a little bang for a little more bang for your buck but i feel that there's a need for a gamestop and it doesn't necessarily have to be GameStop. It could be another company that decides to open up and do something similar. You need a place where you can go and be surrounded by people who enjoy your same hobbies. I can go to Best Buy. For example, in this true story, I'm not going to bullshit you guys. Yesterday, I went to Best Buy to look at the Sony 900H. It's a TV that is currently under $1,000. Uh, the 65-inch is at, um, let's say, 950 I forgot exactly how much. But I know Mike Savage bought one. TG1 Eddie bought one. A few people who have been on PGR, they've, they've shown their photos of their recent purchases, like Persona, uh, J-Dub. They have it. So I was like, I got to check this out for myself. I went, I looked at it, and I fell in love. I almost bought one. I didn't buy one. So a gentleman that works for Best Buy comes walking up to me, and he goes, you know what? You're not the only one that's been staring at this TV. It's been on sale. It might be on sale until after Black Friday when we run out, because this is the Black Friday uh, price. And we start talking about the PlayStation 5 because... Uh, because it's a Sony television, they were playing the highlight reel for the PlayStation 5. All the game trailers and everything. So we start talking about the PlayStation 5 and how none of his employee, fellow employees were able to pre-order one at Best Buy. So we start talking a little bit about you know our anticipation and, and excitement for PS5. And then he has to go and take care of another customer. But this was the kind of conversation I used to have at GameStop all the time. Even when I went and stood online, even though I have one already pre-ordered, I stood online a few weeks ago, talked with people on the line, shared our stories and excitement for video games, and then went into the GameStop, talked video games some more. And so for me, there is a need for a place like GameStop. And once again, it doesn't necessarily have to be GameStop themselves, but a place where, where video game enthusiasts like us, you people listening to this episode, and myself, 
where we can go and share our stories in person. That one-to-one interaction or that person-to-person interaction, you know, even though I love podcasting, there's still nothing more exciting and fulfilling than talking with other people who share a love for your hobby. So, yeah, to me, this is good news for GameStop. It, there is a need for GameStop or a place like GameStop because we need that outlet. We need to get out, take a walk to the mall or to our local GameStop, you know, wherever the hell GameStop is for you. Maybe even take a drive and go somewhere physical where you can talk with other people physically and enjoy the surroundings. Because the other thing, great thing about being at a place like GameStop is that you're surrounded by consoles and games, controllers, and other people just shopping and listening in on what you're talking about. So it's, to me, good news. But anyway, let me know in the comment section what you think about this news between GameStop and Microsoft. So I'm JVB. Talk to you later.